Hi, my name is Josh, for those of you who know me, and uh, I happen to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We're also known as the Mormons. And uh, this is last week, uh, one of the church leaders uh, gave a talk. His name was Elder David A. Bednar, and he spoke about using social media and sharing the gospel with other people. And he said right now it's been good, it's kind of been more of a trickle, but he challenged us to change that from a trickle to a flood, to flood social media with positive uplifting uh, content. So I just started thinking about that. I thought, you know what? What's going on right now in social media? Right now, the ALS uh, bucket challenge, which is awesome. People pouring buckets on their head uh, to create awareness and also to, um, you know, get donations to help people fight this deadly disease, which is, I think that's awesome. And as I was thinking about that, I thought it will be so cool when someone eventually uh, does like a Book of Mormon challenge where they share scriptures in the Book of Mormon and encourage people to do the same thing. And then it kind of spreads like wildfire. And then something hit me like, Josh, why are you waiting for someone else to do that? Why, why can't you start it? So here it goes. Uh, this is the Book of Mormon. And uh, as members of the, of the LDS Church, we believe the Bible to be the Word of God. And we do read the Bible. In addition to that, we also have uh, the Book of Mormon, which is a, it's another testament of Jesus Christ, as it states here. And it's a, a dealings, uh, it's a, a, an account of God's dealings between uh, him and his people here on the earth. And one of my favorite scriptures I want to share with you guys, we'll just take a second. It's in 2 Nephi. It's chapter 32, verse 3. I'll share it with you real quick. It says, Angels speak by the power of the Holy Ghost, Wherefore, they speak the words of Christ. Wherefore, I said unto you, feast upon the words of Christ. For behold, the words of Christ will tell you all things what ye should do. I love that scripture because when I think about it, I think about feasts. When I think about feasting, I think about Thanksgiving. What do you do at Thanksgiving? Do you go and just get a tiny little bit of mashed potatoes and a tiny little bit of turkey and then a tiny little bit of roll? No, that's not a feast, right? A feast is... Load on the mashed potatoes, load on the turkey, give me two rolls, you know, and you're like, I'm going to have a feast, okay? And I think for the scriptures, we're supposed to do the same thing. The words of Christ, we're supposed to feast on them. So when we read our scriptures, maybe don't do it at night, laying in bed, just like hurrying, trying to squeeze in before we go to sleep. If we feast on the words of Christ, we're sitting down, we're paying attention. Maybe we have a notepad off the side to take notes and we're really paying attention so that the scriptures can change our lives. Anyways, I love that scripture. I hope it uh, helps you guys bring some hope and comfort to you. And I, I have a testimony, as, as they say, that the words of Christ really will tell you all things what you should do. I've been blessed in my life from following the scriptures contained in the Book of Mormon. So thanks for watching. Before I go, we got to do the Book of Mormon challenge, right? So I wanted to call out a few friends. Uh, so a couple of those people are Heather Hansen, Nate Hales, Kelly Newman, Chris Polson, Dave Yates, Josh Nelson, and Mike Whitesides. You have been called out to do the Book of Mormon Challenge, so you have 24 hours to share a scripture from the Book of Mormon on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.